how to determine your break-even point in Airbnb investing. It's easy, let me tell you how. What is a break-even point? In real estate investing, a break-even point is the number of days you need to rent out your property on Airbnb in order to make back the money that you've initially invested. This includes the cost of buying or renovating the property, as well as any ongoing costs, such as mortgage payments, insurance, and utilities. To calculate your break-even point, divide your total investment by the nightly rate you charge for your Airbnb rental. For example, if you've invested $50,000 into your property and you charge $200 per night, your break-even point would be 250 days. That's $50,000 divided by $200 per night, and this equals 250 days. Of course, this is just an estimate, and your break-even point will vary depending on a number of factors, such as how often you rent out your property, how many guests you have, and the lengths of their stay, all of the money that you've put into your property, which we will be talking about shortly. So what affects your break-even point? Uh, consider these uh, startup costs, such as inspections, repair costs, furniture and appliances, and closing costs. And also think of monthly expenses like insurance, utilities, property management, maintenance, taxes, HOA dues when applicable, uh, income taxes, cleaning fees, things like that. In my experience, uh, those things are often considered. What really gets people into trouble a lot of the time is that new investors just tend to be really excited about opening their first Airbnb, which on one hand is really great because you want to be enthusiastic when you start your business, uh, but you really should be wary of things like over-improving a property. Uh, people tend to go overboard on renovations thinking that they need to create a really luxurious space in order to charge top dollar. And it, it, they have a point, but you also don't need three and a half bathrooms in a two-bedroom house. So most travelers really are just looking for a clean, comfortable place to stay the night. They're not necessarily looking for a five-star hotel suite. Just something to think about not considering the competition. Uh, when choosing an investment property, it's important to research the competition in the area to see what other people are charging for similar properties to yours. If there are already a lot of Airbnb listings in your area, it will make it harder to make your listing stand out. But also, if you need, say, $150 per night to cover your monthly costs, but the highest rental in your market is $90 per night, then you may be in some trouble. Number three, over furnishing your units. This is getting back to the excited part I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Many people make the mistake of over furnishing their Airbnb units. Again, travelers are looking for a clean, comfortable place to stay. They're not necessarily looking for a showroom. And you can get a $5,000 hassock if you really want one, but I can guarantee someone sometime will spill juice on it. I'm just saying. <laughs> So my advice is always to just stick to the basics when furnishing your units and be smart. You'll save money in the long run. And number four, uh, things that often get new Airbnb hosts underwater with their rentals are not being hands-on enough. Being a landlord takes work. And when first obtaining a property, many owners hire professionals to do the jobs that they otherwise could be doing themselves. And this adds to your bottom line each month and certainly cuts into potential profits and pushes out that break-even date even farther. So if you're not willing to get your hands dirty, then you know maybe an Airbnb investment may not be for you, but there are plenty of other passive income generating things in the real estate world that you should pursue. So we talked about a formula, and of course I have to mention that all of the expenses and costs mentioned in this video were actually from the MashVisor website directly. All of the things they calculate for you when researching a potential Airbnb property for purchase were talked about today. And really, even if you're not sold on the Airbnb idea as a business model, uh, you can look at a listing on MashVisor and see how the numbers stack up using MashVisor's analysis data. And you can switch back and forth between traditional rentals and Airbnb. So you can see what will make you the most profit at the end of the day, which is kind of why we're all in real estate to begin with. I mean, we love it, we love it, but we also love that money. So think about that too. <laughs>
So please check out MashVisor.com and you can get a free seven day trial by using the link in the description. It's a really, really great tool to have before buying any investment property. Just make sure your numbers are lined up and you'll be great. So there you go. Happy property hunting. I'm Michael. Follow me on Instagram. It's Michael Talks Real Estate and I will see you on Thursday. Have a great day.